welcome back to my channel today Cricut has new products and I'm gonna show you how I chose to use this new product this is the iron-on the patterned iron-on guys patterned iron-on and this is the cutest stuff ever this one actually has three different patterns in it and so does this one and I couldn't wait to show you guys what I made with them so let's get going All right guys, the new pattern iron-on is super cute and I just love it. It's super shiny on the front, that's because there's a plastic film on the front and then the back is pretty coarse and it's kind of like a fabric material. So we're gonna put it face down on our mat, that's super important when working with any type of iron-on and we're just going to make sure there's no bubbles in it. Then we're gonna prep our surface by making sure we know the size we want our design. I like to measure, of course, before I do any of my design work um, so that I know how big I want to make any design that I'm going to make so I want this to be about 10 inches and then once you're done with the design process just make sure that you do not forget to flip backwards or mirror as it's called on Cricut Design Space and make sure all of your mats are set to mirror and then I'm just gonna set this on iron-on and it seemed to work perfectly um, you might need to set it on custom and find the patterned iron-on setting but iron-on worked perfect for me all right, so now that it's cut, we're just gonna weed it. And I found that this was really easy to weed. It's actually just about as easy to weed as regular iron-on. A little, It's easier than regular, a little bit easier than glitter iron-on. So it's kind of in between and it's probably the easiest I've found to weed. So now we're just going to use our easy press to set to the proper uh, time and temperature. So the temperature that you wanna use for this is 300 and 50 or 40 degrees at 50 seconds. So just make sure you get that ready and warmed up. You can do that while you're weeding as well so you're not sitting around waiting for it to warm up. Then we're gonna use the new mat that is available, the Cricut Easy Press mat. And we're just going to warm that up by giving it a little bit of a um, iron with the Easy Press before we put anything on the surface. And then we're also going to heat up our shirt before we iron on anything to it. This goes for any type of iron on and Easy Press usage. Okay, so now we're going to make sure our design is even by measuring the tops of all of it and just making sure that it's nice and straight. And then we're going to just stick our Easy Press on, click the little Cricut button, and hold firmly against the design. If the design sticks out a little bit, you're going to want to move your Easy Press over and click the button again, holding firmly. And don't worry because it should be just fine to hold it over the design a little bit longer. So now we're going to remove our mat so that we can cool down the t-shirt and we don't want to pull off the plastic until the design is completely cool and you see that the design has taken to the shirt it's kind of got some ridges in it you'll notice it's kind of hard to pull the plastic off but once it's off it's pretty good on there so if you're gonna do like I did with these shirts you are going to heat up the next portion of this and make sure not to go over the iron on directly so just put your next layer on and then we're gonna take the plastic that was just on the kindness portion of this and stick it back on there to protect it so that when we use the easy press again we are not going to melt the design that we already did so now we just put the easy press on let it do its thing hold firmly and we're done if you guys want to see these t-shirts in Disneyland, I've also made a few more. Check out our next Disneyland vlog because we made a bunch of cute ones with all of the different patterned iron-on. I can't wait to show you guys. Love you. Bye.